So what's the second exciting thing you've got for us today? All right, well, I don't know if it's exciting or not. I guess it depends on who you are. <laughs> Uh, so the second thing is PlayStation recently updated to 8.0 and it has caused a lot, a lot of drama. So one of the problems was is that your friends lists were not displaying. I actually personally have this problem as well, uh, where basically just when I went into friends, it just said that I had none. Now, my personal fix, I don't know if this would work for everybody, but what I ended up doing is I just did a search for one of my friends and when as soon as i did the search and the search completed and it found him after that my friends list loaded the entire list so i don't know if that's a fix for everybody if that was just for me uh, but that's how i fixed that one uh, but basically what it's doing is it's trying to make the ps4 compatible with the ps5 so the ps5 is going to do parties and that sort of thing differently than the way the ps4 did it and this is going to make it compatible so one of the biggest things was that previously, if I was playing a game and I wanted to talk to my friends, all I had to do was create a party and invite my friends. Or I could just go straight to my friends in the party list and then just say, you know, create party. And then I would have a way for us to communicate. Now, it's not gonna be doing that anymore. Now, the way the party list works is, it's gonna work similar to apps like WhatsApp or Line or Google Hangouts, where if I have a conversation, with a friend, then what I could do is I could just go into a video call or go into an audio call with that friend. But it's considered part of our text conversation. It's not its own individual call. So because of that, it's gonna cause some trouble because you have to have a conversation open with people in order to make that call. You can't just create a party and then add people to it. There has to be a conversation basically attached to it. Uh, now, this is advantageous in certain ways because it means that if you have a regular group of friends that you party with, then you already basically have these group chats open and you can just open up these group chats and then anybody who's part of that group can pop in and out as they want. So, you know, for instance, if I'm talking to uh, one friend and another friend isn't online, but he pops in later, if we're talking in our group chat, he can join that call. But the downside is, is you basically have to have conversations with these people so i know it's really common on playstation for when some people play online games they'll find out the people that they're playing with and they will just create a party and then have all these players with them and they're not really friends they're just people that are currently playing together but they've created a temporary party you're not going to have those temporary parties anymore uh, the other thing that i know some people were using it for was to create basically solo parties uh so for example Yesterday, I was playing Ghost of Tsushima Legends, and in it, there was a part where I was quiet for the whole time because there's in-game chat, and I didn't want to be talking to the camera, and this other guy, you know, having to listen to me talking to nobody, it would just be kind of awkward for him. So I was, you know, quiet the whole time. Uh, so what people would do before is they would open up a party chat. They're the only person in, the, in that party, but because party chat is prioritized, it would not have his voice in the game chat and so you could do that and then that way i could still talk to my audience but i'm not talking to other people in the game uh, so that would be a way to do that you can't really do that anymore there is a kind of workaround uh, for example i have two accounts a taiwanese account and an american account so i can just open a chat between my two accounts and it's basically just me in there uh, but if you don't have accounts i don't know if there's gonna be a workaround for that or not okay so um, we talked about this a little bit earlier. Um, do you yes, think? We did. <laughs> yes, we did. Uh, do you think they're gonna fix this anytime soon, or they're gonna release a patch? Or uh, they've already talked about it. Basically, they said Sony said that they are listening to player feedback and they're trying to decide what they want to do. So I don't think they're gonna roll it back, but I do think they're gonna maybe add some of that old functionality, like just creating parties on the fly. I think they'll bring that back. But uh, I don't think they're going to roll it back because I do think they want this kind of uh, Google Hangouts line WhatsApp kind of idea where you have chat groups. So because of that, I think they're going to fix it. I don't think they're going to roll it back. That makes sense.